It's the tallest office building in the city, 225 meters. It's got the fastest panoramic lifts in Europe. They whisk you up to the top in 30 seconds. We're under 122 Leadenhall Street, otherwise known as the Cheese Grater, the latest tower in the city. The building was designed by Rogers Sturk Harbour and Partners, the successor practice to the Richard Rogers Partnership, who designed the Lloyds Building directly opposite in 1986, which a couple of years ago became the youngest building to be listed at Grade 1. That gives it the same protection as St Paul's Cathedral or Westminster Abbey. We're in an emerging cluster of buildings by Britain's two most famous architectural aristocrats, Lord Rogers and Lord Foster. You can just about glimpse the gherkin in the background. It's quite an extraordinary explosion, an architectural uh, outburst from the country's two most famous designers. The tower stands on a series of spindly legs, which allow the space under it to become a public plaza, a new square for the city, which will eventually link up with St. Helens Square behind, making one of the biggest, most generous public places in the city of London. The height underneath, seven stories of height, allows the sun to pour in. It makes it feel like a, a public place rather than a leftover space underneath the building. A little like the uh, Shard, which is much the bigger building, but on the south bank, it was designed by Renzo Piano, the front of the building slopes. That allows views to carry on up Fleet Street, of the city, of St Paul's, but it also brings a tremendous amount of wind down. It becomes a wind-catching area. Everywhere the tower's diagonal grid structure has been made visible. Colour's been subtly used to pick out steels and differentiate functions. The building's 53% left, with US insurance broker Aon relocating from their Chicago HQ and taking out such a big chunk they even get their own dedicated escalator and lobby. The interiors are slick and elegant, the sloping glass affords astonishing views, better even perhaps than the much taller shards. The intention here in the heart of the city of London was always to create a cluster of skyscrapers, one mass of architecture to express the vitality and the dynamism of the money making that goes on in the streets below. And the cheese grater is the apex of that cluster. As a centerpiece, it does a fine job. It's an elegant, slender building which sits lightly on the ground and allows views across the city, through the city, cutting back. Its presence on the street is surprisingly minimal and quiet, and it creates genuine public space underneath. It's not perfect. The public space underneath could be a little more open, but it's an excellent addition to the city skyline and to the city streetscape. Edwin Hefkert, Financial Times, London.